If you're a business owner planning to set up a website, familiarizing yourself with WAMP is highly beneficial. It provides a basic understanding of how websites function, even if you plan to outsource your development to agencies. This knowledge will help you comprehend the technical jargon used in web development. Uh Okay. What is WAMP or WAMP? What the hell is even that? WAMP is a technology stack that provides developers with four key elements of a web server. These are Windows, which is the operating system, Apache, which is the web server, MySQL, which acts as the database, and PHP, Python, or Perl, which are the scripting languages. Now let's break down each component. First off, we all know Windows, which is the operating system which all of this works on. Next is Apache. Apache is a software that hosts a web server. Whenever you access a website, your browser reads information from this server. That's cool. Yeah, is it? Have you ever encountered a 500 internal server error? This is the server indicating that it cannot provide the website data to load. Now with WAMP, you can set up a server locally on your system and it uses your computer's resources such as your CPU and your RAM to create a local server called localhost, which by default points to the IP address 127.0.0.1 Now once you've installed WAMP on your computer, it's very easy to set up a local server called localhost. All you have to do is come down to your taskbar and click the WAMP icon and here we have localhost. It'll then open up the WAMP server localhost created by Apache. Next is MySQL. MySQL acts as a database in this scenario. Whenever you read a blog post or create an account on a website, the information is stored in structured tables within a database. So here in the WAMP interface, in order to access MySQL, you have to go into PHP MyAdmin first, which we'll be talking about a little later. And once you're here, you input the username root and leave the password space blank and click login. And here is our PHP MyAdmin interface. And over here, we go to databases. And here is where you can create your MySQL database. Next up is PHP. PHP is a scripting language that connects the database and the server. It can be programmed to perform various actions. WAMP includes a predefined program called PHP MyAdmin, which serves as a central hub for managing content. So as we had seen before, here is our PHP MyAdmin interface. Here you can see a number of different settings and options. On the top here, you have your databases, SQL, status, etc. And on the right hand side here, you can see different information about the database server, web server, and the PHP MyAdmin, you can see documentation as well. Here you can change the appearance settings, the general settings, and overall PHP MyAdmin serves as the central hub for managing everything in the WAMP interface. Now, why learn about WAMP in the first place? WAMP is particularly useful if you're planning to create a website using WordPress and want to see the process in real time. We've actually created a separate video tutorial on installing WordPress on a WAMP server. Now let's review WAMP in the context of a WordPress installation. So here is our local host server. And as you can see in our projects, we've installed WordPress on this WAMP server. So what we can do is go into our PHP MyAdmin and we've logged in and go to our databases. And here you can see the WordPress database. And here you can see the different tables associated with the WordPress database. So now if you want to access our WordPress page, all we have to do is go to localhost slash the name of the project over here. So here we have WordPress. So we have to go to localhost slash WordPress. And here we go, here is our WordPress page. It is a sample page with just a little bit of text here and there, and one article here called Hello World. If you want to access our WordPress admin page to add an article, all you have to do is go to localhost slash WordPress slash WP slash admin. And here we have our WordPress admin page. And here you can add and publish posts. So let's go to post here and click add new post. There we go. And let's just give something, let's say, there we go. And we click publish. And there we go, our post is now published. So we can view the post here, WAMP is useful. And if you go to our homepage, we can see we have two articles now, the previous one, Hello World, and now WAMP is useful. So now if we go into our MySQL database, we'll be able to see here in WordPress posts, we can see our new article has been added to this table. So here we can see MySQL database shows all the data that is entered in the WordPress website. We hope this video was informative. For Linux users, there's LAMP, and for Mac users, there's XAMP. All these stacks serve similar purposes in different environments. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you learned something here today. If you liked it, then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. It really helps us out a lot. If you have a topic that you'd like us to cover in the future, please let us know down in the comments. Once again, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.